glandular cells that are common in the parotid gland. And when they have, while you're taking just a small sample, you're looking at a microscope and a couple of them look atypical or abnormal. The only way to know if they're cancerous or not is to remove it. And if you're going to remove that, you just remove that whole mass. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That tells you definitively if it's cancer or not. Right. Even if it's an abscess, and you know, you're removing it. And then if it's cancer that's gone through the capsule or gone to the lymph nodes, then you would treat it with radiation after to try to prevent from recurrence. Okay. But whether you need any of that is going to be contingent on what that shows the final pathology of what's removed. But I agree with the plan of having your surgeon remove that. Yes. And Dr. Fordyce is the right guy. So you have the right surgeon. Mm -hmm. You have a preliminary diagnosis. It's not, it's not cancer yet. It's suspicious. It may turn out to be nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. But regardless, you're not comfortable leaving it in there, mm -hmm. so you remove it just like you have scheduled. Your blood counts are a non-issue. Don't tell, don't let them know. You know, this is fine. Your, your counts look better than ever, so don't let that be an issue. You know, you, just, mm -hmm. you keep a copy of this, your iron levels. You have an iron tablet at all? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. How you feel besides nervous? Just nervous. You'll be but, fine. but I feel good. My body feels good. You'll be fine. Okay. You'll be fine. Your blood works good. And if this is an issue locally, you're addressing it. Mm -hmm. If you got a problem, fix it. And right. you, you came in, you had a problem, they saw it on scan, got better with pulling the fluid off. But if there's a problem there, you've not removed, you've not done anything by pulling the fluid off. You just made you feel better. Ultimately, the fix is to remove that darn blame. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You're doing the right thing. All okay. right. I was gonna ask you. I had got my um, my vaccination, my, my you know the uh, Pfizer, yeah. and I'm supposed to get my second one October the second. No trouble. And my surgery is September 30th, so it's like two days before. Well, they make my throw my body for a week. So I need the surgery. You can move it back a couple of days if you want to, but it doesn't matter. Well, this is not gonna be a. Uh, a brain tube or a something like Yeah, but that still shouldn't change. I mean, if you you know that. It doesn't have to be right at that time where you get that vaccine. It can be a week or two after or whatnot. So if you want to delay it a week or two, that's okay. Yes, sir. If you need the vaccine, yes, make sure you get that. Okay. okay. So I do come back to you when? Well, well, why don't we see you? We'll review the pathology. You got the blood counts here. Why don't I see you in about three months? Yes, sir. Is that okay. good with that? Are you good with that? Yes, sir. You still got the B12? You're injecting it? You're doing that yourself? Yes, sir. And then I have somebody helping me too. It's a young lady that uh, she's your patient too, Ariel. She go to the one in Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm. And so she helps me out because it's kind of hard for me sometimes. Yeah. She'll help me do it. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. I think what you know is that you got something going on there. It could be a benign process, but nonetheless, it led to a cyst. It's got to be removed. Okay. And that's not a big deal. Okay. That's, the, that's, the, that's, the, okay. that's not a big deal. Okay. And if it, you know, most of the, the, if that is a cancer, there the treatment is to remove it. Mm -hmm. If it shows that there's more advanced disease, then you would consider adding radiation on top of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But for now, let's just see what the pathology shows. You got the right plan. We'll go from there. Yes. Um, thank you.